Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila and I am here to do your mini love forecast for the Gemini. Hello Gemini. Um, so we are almost coming up on your zodiac month. So next month um, you will be in your moon very soon. And so we're going to be looking at the love energies for April the 25th through an ending on May 1st. Okay, so... Um, let's see what we got going on for you. I'm just going to shuffle. This is going to be a quick five card spread. Um, we're going to look at what's going on currently. What we need to look at in the past that could be still affecting you and what happened. And then also the future. And then we're going to get an extra future card so that we can... Um, because my last mini reading, I only did three cards this time. I'm going to do my regular five cards. So you'll get a little bit more out of this weekly reading. Um, than what you did last week so all right so again um, I'm doing the voiceover this is just the quickest easiest way without me having to get set up um, I think that I actually like it this way um, <clears throat> It's, it, it's very, very close to my actual readings because I do my readings by phone, okay? And I may have to go close the door because the kids are kind of loud outside. Neighbors, kids. <laughs> they are out there having a good old time. Yeah. They probably out there playing cops and robbers. Okay. Sorry about that, Gemini. So I'm about to lay out your cards right now. So this video is going to be kind of extra long. I had to close that window. All right, so I'm going to uh, cut the cards and lay them out for you. Uh-oh. All right, Geminis. So currently you've got some fears because the Eight of Swords came up. Um, this is all about your mental perception of yourself, life, things around you. Um, you fear relationships. I see a lot of you guys currently right now, you're not fearing relationship. If you're currently in a relationship, you've got some fear right now surrounding that relationship is what I'm saying with this Eight of Swords. And then not, not only that, the Eight of Swords um, is indicative of a person that doesn't, that, that doesn't, their perception is being skewed by some energy or some force because, and, and it's crazy that I'm getting all these full moon cards because um, in the deck, the illustration is the full moon is like whispering like these kind of paranoid illusions into this person's head and it's going right through the crown and it's causing a lot of... Um, you know, emo, you know, a lot of bad feelings, a lot of bad self-perception. Um, and this can mess up your love life. So the Seven of Swords, um, you know, not Seven of Swords, I'm sorry, Eight of Swords. Um, this is bondage. This is being controlled by outside forces. This is you being constricted or restricted and censored. So, you know, that and then as well as the fear the eight of swords is about fear a lot of fear even though it's balanced because it is the eight you know so if you're currently involved with someone it could be that both of you are experiencing this this uh fear um it could be that some of you may be getting ready to get married so this is where all this extra extra fear is coming from because you know, this reading is not that bad, okay? Now, some of you are reevaluating your relationships seriously. And you probably are figuring out right now, hey, should I stay with this person? Should I stay with someone even though the relationship is unhealthy just so that I won't have to be alone? So a lot of you Geminis out there are currently asking yourself that question probably even today. In the past, the Sun card comes up. The Sun card indicating... A major life event um, also indicating love harmony warmth completion joy 
um, what's crossing the sun in the past is the king of cups so this is a literal person so in the past things were going great so whatever's going on now you need to get that figured out because your future you got the two of wands so the two of wands um, it is balanced and so this is indicative of a balanced partnership this is about making creative use of your own energy bringing together ideas focusing on one single objective and working together for a common goal so this is the yin and the yang the man and the woman balancing each other out together and um, so some of you Gemini's might decide that you want to conceive a child next week some of you might find out you're pregnant and I think that for some of you it's gonna be a burden <clears throat> Especially if you've got all this uncertainty in your relationship and you probably just met this person and probably really have a lot of deep feelings for him, especially with the sun and the king of cups coming up. I mean, this shows that this person was um, very good with you emotionally and, you know, was really caring. Um, so you got the two of wands for the future. So this is what you can expect for next week. You can expect this balance and harmony balance after overcoming your fears because currently I'm seeing a lot of fear surrounding the relationship someone may be lying to you or someone it could be just a spirit um, but in the future I do see that being worked out now what's crossing this two of wands in the future is the ten of wands and so this is you carrying a heavy burden but being able to handle it so again your relationship is gonna go through a make or break a make or break period but it's gonna overcome it um, for those of you who I do see pregnancies for um, and for some reason people tend to either get people pregnant around their birthday or they get pregnant for because I got pregnant three times during my birth month <laughs> and I have four children and three of my children were conceived during my birth month so I do see a lot of you coming up between the 25th of April and the 1st of May I see a child being conceived I see some people finding out they're pregnant and at first it's gonna be like oh my god can't we afford another kid like you probably have already established a relationship um, with this person probably already have kids or maybe they already have kids and you're thinking is this gonna make it can you know can we make it so but it does show you overcoming it so I think that your theme for next week is gonna um, be that you are gonna overcome this rough period that you're going through right now with this eight of swords you fear moving into the future because you know that something big is about to happen and I think that if you, um, you know, take the advice of the cards, I think that you can end up in a in a good place next week, maybe in, in an amazing place. Because I don't know for me if, you know, if I make the decision to, you know, make a child once I find out, you know, and I'm, I would, I mean, you get, you get nine months to prepare, so... <laughs> Is how I feel about that. But yeah, I don't know why with all of this wood I'm seeing. Okay. And I and and a lot of people <laughs> when I see a lot of wands, this is indicative of a man. This is comparable to a man's phallus. Okay. So wand energy in a love reading is very important. When I get a wand, I know that this man is working hard. This is fire energy. This is energy of the Leo. This is energy of the lion. This is survival of the fittest. So that's going to do it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe. Be on the lookout for my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Make sure that you subscribe for that giveaway and thumbs up this video. And if you want a more personalized reading with me, they are live. Um, go ahead and check out my website. I usually can do same day readings depending on what's on my schedule for that day. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.